Hello and welcome to Fox Gaming. Today I will show you a quick and easy way to paint up your Moria goblins for the Battle for Middle-earth strategy battle game. You only need a handful of colors for this and they will be looking pretty decent when you are done. Just a little heads up, I use a very simple tried and true basic technique for these models that I have used for the rest of my army. Feel free to do your own thing if you want a different looking base. Let me know in the comments if you usually paint your bases before or after you have painted the miniature. I start by basing the model using modeling sand. This is because I'm going to paint the sand black anyway and I use a black priming for this model. With the model primed black, we are ready to start painting. I start by dry brushing the base with Dawnstone as I don't want to accidentally hit the miniature after it's painted. Next, I'm painting all of the armor and metal with the dry brush of Lead Belcher. The goblin armor is very dark, and by doing this only the raised areas on the model will be silver, leaving the recesses dark. The skin is painted using Castellan Green. This is the face, arms, hands and legs. In the movies, the goblins have this grey-greenish color, but I lean more towards a pure green because this will give a nice contrast to the cloth that will be painted next. The next color I use is Corn Red. This will go on the cloth which is located on the arms and the lower parts of the body. Rhinox hide is used to paint in all of the straps and wood details, like the spears and bow. The straps is usually located on the arms and legs and connected to the quiver. To give the face some more detail, I paint its teeth with Morgast bone. The Fletchers on the arrows is also painted using this color. The eyes is painted using Avalan Sunset. The face is a really important aspect of all models, so take your time with a small detail brush to pick out these details. Next I pull out the Magic Brew and cover the entire model with Nuln Oil. Some of the models have quivers and some have gloves. These are painted using Black Templar contrast paints. The hair is also painted with this color. This will cover up any silver that hit those parts during the dry brushing step. Now the model is battle ready. You can call this done if you want. I'm going to do some more highlighting to make it pop on the battlefield. To do that, I start with Wastaka Red, and this is used for highlighting the cloth. This does not take much time, about a minute or so, and it will greatly enhance the look of the miniature. The skin is highlighted with Lauren Forest. This is also a quick step, but take care and focus your attention on the face, as this is the most exposed to light sources. The bow, spear and arrow shafts are highlighted with Gorthor Brown. For the spears and bows, I paint small lines to make it appear as if it's actually made of wood. The straps are highlighted using Mornfang Brown, just hitting a small line on the top of the strap. If 
you are like me and want to take the miniature to the next level, paint a small black line in the middle of the ice. This gives the model instant personality and is well worth the trouble. Don't worry if you make a mess. This is a tricky step. Just reapply some Avalanche Sunset to correct the mistakes. To finish off the base, I put on some static grass using PVA glue. And paint the rim Mornfang Brown to match my army. And now the miniature is finished ready to be used in your MESBG battle games. Hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like if you liked it, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you want to support me, and if you have any questions leave a comment below. See you around!